Hey now, Mike Shimon here. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to set up a GetResponse automation flow. So GetResponse, the email marketing autoresponder that a lot of people use for affiliate marketing and other things. But I'm gonna go through how to set up an automation flow in GetResponse. You can also call it something like an automated online system. And if you wanna know more about something like that, you can wait around till the end of the video and I'll give you some more details. But for now, let's go ahead, get into the GetResponse automation tutorial right now. Hey now, Mike Shaman here. In this video, we're going to do a quick automation email series with GetResponse. So I'm at GetResponse right now. If you want to get a 30 day free trial of GetResponse, go ahead and click the link below. Let's get into how to make a automation series with GetResponse. So I'm at my GetResponse account, Get Response account right now. I just logged in. I'm going to go to menu and I'm going to go to automation. Now you want to do this when you're promoting offers or affiliate offers or something to that extent. I have one set up right here on this account. I'm just going to go to create workflow. And if you don't see this page, it's going to be like a, a, a icon page. It's going to have some doodles on it. And it's just going to say start your first workflow. So go ahead and click that if you don't see this. Okay. So I'm just going to go to create workflow. And then it's going to come to all these templates right here. You can choose one of these templates if you want. That's fine. But I'm just going to just kind of show you how to make a basic one from scratch. Okay. So I'm just going to go to start now. All right. And then it gives you a quick little tutorial right here on kind of, uh, you know, how to do things. But I'm just going to show you how to do that. So you can enter your workflow name right here. So once we can put the name there, now you want to do, now you want to start the process. When somebody subscribes to your email list, where do you want them to go? So you want to start off with a, a basic, just subscribe. So just click subscribe. That's going to bring you to your workflow calendar right here or your workflow area. You can make this larger or smaller by doing this. So you can get a pretty big workflow going here. Now someone subscribed to any list via method. So once you click on that, that's going to change the properties over here. You can see elements and properties. All right. And then it's going to ask you to select the list. So you can do specific list or any list. We're just going to do specific. All right. We're going to do specific. And then you go ahead and select your list that you want to use for this example. Okay. So I have them subscribed to this list and then any subscription method you can go and these are a little bit more advanced options here, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, so we need to know that they subscribe to my list, Michael Shaman there. I'm just gonna go to add elements now. So once they subscribe, if they open a message, custom field, contact, copy to list. So you have all these options here, link clicked, special occasion, message sent, okay. There's also these actions down here that you can see, send message, custom field, move to list, workflow, wait, okay. Now these other ones here, you have to upgrade your account. I just have the basic account and I don't really have anything special about my account, but you can get pretty technical with these. But like I said, this is just going to be a basic um, tutorial here. They also have filters, which we're not going to mess with these um, right now. This is just going to be a basic uh, automation workflow with GetResponse here. What you want to do is you just want to go to, I do usually do like, okay, so they subscribe to, to uh, the email list. Now if you go to message open, okay, and it says when any newsletter is open, what you want to do is you want to select whichever one you want. So usually it's automation. All right, you want to track automation messages. And then it says uh, choose any or specific. I'm going to choose specific. All right, so you can select your message or you can create a new one. Now, if you never created an automation before, there's probably going to be a create new button right here. So you can go ahead and that, on that and then you'll take you into the prompt to make a new message, which we'll see in just a moment. Now, maybe you have created an automation before and you just need to add a, a message to this. What you want to do is you want to go to save and publish. All right. And then you want to go back into your automation drop down, go to automation. You'll come to this page and then you'll say automation messages. So go ahead and click that. Go to create automation message. I'm just going to go to uh, take me to the new email creator. Okay. And this is where you can have your uh, automation stored. Now this is the step basically when you go to create new, this is the step that it takes you to right here. Okay. So now we're all on the same step again. This is where you're in your message, um, or your, your, uh, your email headline. Hey, uh, thanks for joining. Okay. And then you want to link it to your list. So make sure you have the right list selected here. If you don't use the drop down there, 
Make sure your email address is select is correct right here. All right, and if you don't know how to get your email address, I have a tutorial video on that that you can watch. But it's one, two, three thing, but make sure you have the right email address. And then this is the um, subject line, okay? This is gonna appear on your list of messages. So I'm just gonna put it right here. Hey, thanks for joining. Okay, your subject line right there. Then you wanna go to design message. And usually what I do is I just go to um, existing messages or I just go to blank template and I just copy uh, one of these. All right, and it's a whole tutorial actually on how to like make a message or whatever, but basically what you used to want to do here is you just want to click on this and I go to, you just want to click right here. You want to go to show logo, take that off. Then you want to go to the view online. That should be taken off. And then you just want to drag your text blocks here. So I'm just going to go to layout, text. I'm just going to say, hey, and then I'll put their first name there. I'll say, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, click here. Okay. And then I'll just click this one. I'll just make this a link. All right, let's put my web address in there for a link right now. Just do that and go next. And you put, of course, you can put your message there. You can mess with the text editor. You can do all that stuff. So I'm going to go next. All right. And then I'm just going to go save and finish. All right. Now there's my message right there. Now what I'll do with my automation is I'll go save and publish. All right. And it says me, I got to select a message. So let's go to, I'll select this message and let's go save and publish. Yep. All right, let's just delete this. Go save and publish. Go back into my workflow, pick it up again. So now it should have that message in there. So let's go to send message. Or once they subscribe to Michael D. Once they, once they subscribe to my list, send message automation. All right, and then there's my hey, thanks for joining message. All right, and look, there's the create new. So I don't know what happened with the last one, but um, there's the create new message. So if you want to create a new message, there it is. All right, so you got the, hey, thanks for joining. And what you want to do is you want to pull this down here. They subscribe, they send a message. Hey, thanks for joining. And now what's the next message they get? What I usually do is I usually go to wait one day. All right, and you can change how many days you want to wait for. All right, and then I go to add element, add another message, okay? So it'd be another message after one day. And then you select that uh, message right there. All right, now let's say that, that you send them this message, but they didn't open it. All right, what you can do is you can just do add element and you can do to open message, message opened. right here and you go to when any automation specific whenever that's joined whenever that's opened you have them wait one day to send them this second email okay so now they open that, wait a day, send a second email, and now if the message isn't opened, what's, what's gonna happen is we're gonna wait one day. So drag over wait, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna send the first message again. Because that first message is important, you wanna make sure that they have uh, that information there, you wanna make sure they click that link and whatever else. So that's kinda how the automation works, and now We'll wait one day once they open that message. Wait one day. And then they'll get the second message whether they open that one or not. So, and then you can just keep it going with opened, okay? So, that's kind of how you do the automation. They send a message. You want to make sure you have the wait in there because the wait's kind of like, you know, you, if you just keep sending a message after actions, you don't want to do that because then you're like spamming people like nonstop. You can also use a tag. You know, you can do the tag. Uh, 
once they open that, you can tag them with, um, you know, opened email one or didn't open the email one. Um, but you just have to put that in the workflow as well. One of the things you could do right here is like move to list. Let's say you have a, um, you know, once they click this link in email one, um, they're moved to a special list. People who clicked email one are your prime members. So, uh, you know, you can select a list to be moved to. Um, you know, once they click this one, I can do this too. It's like, so, um, maybe thanks for joining. Maybe they, uh, do the automation here. Oops. Do the automation and do a specific link from a specific message. The, hey, thanks for joining. And then select the link, that link. All right, so when we got that, we can put it down right here. And actually, we can do this one. So when a specific link is clicked for um, Legendary Marketing Email 2, all right, we can send them a, a custom message here. All right, and they get the third email right away. But if they don't click the link, then they wait. And then uh, send message to the third email. Or to the second email again to click the link. All right, and this one's actually supposed to be a wait. So they wait. And then send message. This is going to be email three. All right, so they get an opportunity to click the link in there again. Anyways, I, I'm just kind of doing it for workflow there to show you guys how it is. And you just keep going and going and going. You just got to have your emails there to send to them. So once you get your workflow set up, you want to make sure you hit save and publish. All right, and then whatever email list you had it set up for, like I had it set up for the Michael D. Shaman email list. So whichever email list you had set up for, that's which email list it's going to affect. All right, guys. Well, that about wraps this tutorial up. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about affiliate marketing and high ticket affiliate offers that you can promote with Get Response and this automation workflow, go ahead and click the link below. If you want to know more about Get Response, you can go ahead and click that link. There's a 30 day free trial there too. If you want to use this workflow in a real life situation, you should, one of the things you should be promoting are high ticket affiliate offers. And if you need a high ticket affiliate offer to promote, go ahead and click the link below and that'll get you going in the right direction. Take the 15 day challenge and I'll see y'all on the inside. All right, guys, I hope you got a lot of value out of that Get Response automation tutorial there. If you want more information about Get Response, go ahead and click the link below. There's a 30 day free trial. And if you want more information on how to capitalize on automation sequences or automation flows like that, go ahead and click the link below to the work online formula. I go through all the details there, how you can start earning high affiliate commissions on a number of different items. So go ahead, check that out. And if you thought this video was good, go ahead and check out my other Get Response videos. I have a whole playlist here of Get Response videos, how to set up an email autoresponder. It's a little bit different than an automation flow. And also, if you want to learn how to incorporate your Get Response with some landing pages, I have a whole playlist full of landing pages over here. So go ahead and check those out, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.